everyone and welcome to my floss tape. My name is Paula. You can find my Instagram underneath the 502 Stitcher. Um, today is April 29th, 2023 and this is floss tape number 9. Again, welcome. I hope that you've um, had a wonderful week or a couple weeks um, and everything's going well for you. Um, it's been just a little bit since I've been here. Things have been kind of crazy. Um, but um, Give you a little life update. Then I got some fully finishes to show you, a couple finishes, um, some whips, and then I want to talk to you about my mania plans um, for that for me. Um, and then I have a little bit of a haul to show you. Um, life update. Um, we've been doing really well. Um, we had a wonderful Easter. I hope that if you celebrate Easter, you had a good Easter also. Um, this Saturday before Easter, we went on our moms and dads and um had an Easter egg hunt for the kids, a good dinner, just some good family time. Um, on Sunday, um, we went over to my mother-in-law's and um, I had another Easter egg hunt, some good time with family. Um, kids got lots of candy and little toys and stuff, so they were really happy with that. Um, if you remember from my last floss tube, I was kind of nervous about the deviled eggs, but of course they turned out really well at both places, so, and everybody seemed to enjoy it, so that went well. Um, it's um Girl Scout season is over. Yay. Um, we've done, um, I think, six booths. And um, so we're fully finished with the booths. Um, so she's done with the cookie season. It's officially over tomorrow, but um, we weren't able to sign up for any booths this weekend. So we're taking the weekend off. Um, what else has been going on? Um, I had gotten flowers because I've been in the 80s every day, really nice and warm get flowers cold so now it's been like in the 60s and the 50s and in the nights even been a couple nights in the 30s I've had to bring them in but i finally planted them yesterday i'm hoping the rest of the weather will be kind of more leveled out um it's not getting as cold at night now um derby season is here next weekend is derby um if you're not from louisville it's not a big deal but here in louisville you know, it's a holiday. <laughs> the kids get out of school the Friday before Derby for Oaks Day, so not many places get out for our horse race, but we do. Um, I think today is the um, balloon race. Um, last weekend, last Saturday was Thunder Over Louisville. Um, it's a big fireworks show, air show, where everybody comes together and watches it. Um, it's on TV also. Um, they have, it's all day of it. Um, what else has been going on? Um, I had my birthday um, in April 12th. Um, that was very nice. Um, didn't do anything to stay home. That's, you know, nice days to do that. Um, the 27th was my 16th wedding anniversary, so we celebrated that. Um, every, anything other than that, we've been doing really well. Um, school's almost out. The, um, here, they're actually going really late this year. They're going to June 1st. Um, they missed quite a few days for snow. Um, then we had a couple days they missed because of... Um, no electricity from the windstorms, but other than that, we've been doing really well. I hope that you've been doing well. Um, like I said again, so we'll just jump on in here. Um, let's see, the first fully finished object was also a new start since I've been here last. Um, I think so, I'm pretty sure. Um, it is Farm Fresh Berries from um, Stitching with the Housewives. It's one of the roundabouts. And um, I did this on 14 count Ada. It is the call for colors, but the DMC conversions. Um, I got this cutting board from um, Target Dollar Spot. And I went back and I was very happy they had a few more because, you know, they came in a two pack. But I wanted to hang them around my pantry, so I needed two more. So I was able to get that. So I was really happy. Um, and I did just buy the newest um, strawberry roundabout. So I'll put that up there. Um, the bows, I think, are just from, like, Walmart. Um, and the little ladybug um, I got from, I think, Dollar Tree. When Dollar Tree was Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry about that. But I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, the next one is um, On the Hunt, and this was by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, I did it on 14 Count Ada. Um, I did not do the call for colors. I kind of did my own conversion. And um, I finished it in Tobacco Basket from Hobby Lobby. Um, the little chicks that will be in here are from Michael's. And um, the bows, I think, um, 
were from the Dollar Tree. And then the um, little bunny button I got from um, Hobby Lobby. I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it turned out super, super cute. And my last finish. Um, I got this from the Hobby Lobby. It is in the metal decor section. Um, this is a metal, um, kind of looks like a um, grater. I can't think of the word. But um, it's hollow and inside like a little basket. So um, I just put some... Um, um, tulips and some little these little sprig things I got. It. The tulips I think from Michaels and the sprigs were from um, Hobby Lobby. Um, this is, um, let's see I got it right now, Spring Wishes by Primrose Cottage Stitches and um, I just finished it on there and stuck it on here. Um, the bow I think again was from Half Price Book, or not Half Price Books. I was thinking of the other day I needed to go there but um it's a Dollar Tree and the other ribbon, I think it's from um, Michael's. And I don't know. I'm going to hold it in for just a more minute. I think it turned out super, super cute. I'm happy with it. And the nice thing about this one, because it's solid metal, I just put my magnet on the back of it, and then I can do another finish on it. Not more, you know, not a permanent thing, so. Here. Um, I guess next I'll talk about my finishes. Um, you know, I had the goal of doing an ornament a month. Um, so this is Mary and Bright from Stitching with the Housewives. It is um, done on 16 count Ada that I um, dyed. I showed you this in my, I think my last, um, maybe two floss tapes ago. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I didn't use it to call for colors, or I'm not sure of the um, the dye. I forget what it's called, but um, I did not use a call for colors. I kind of just went through my stash and picked out like a red, green. And, the, and then, of course, black, you know, it's kind of universal. But um, I think it turned out really well. That's another ornament down. Now I just need to fully finish all these ornaments. Um, this is April, the, the little um, calendar ones from um, Heart and Hands. Not the call for colors. Um, I just pulled from my stash. And that is on 14 count white Ada. Um, the next one, um, this one is a long-term whip. This is one of my first um, projects from Stitching with the Housewives. It is the June calendar crate. Sorry, it's not ironed. It is done on um, black 14 count Ada. And it is the call for colors, but the DMC conversions. So I'm finally happy to have that finished. Um, I kind of like, when I tagged it, I kind of did it for the fruit salve that um, Christine, the dog of girl stitches is doing. But um, again, this is one of my first projects I did. It started last year, or last fall or whatever. But um, again, it's June calendar creep. So I'm happy to have that done. And I also started the small and got that finished. Still in the 14 count Ada, um, the call for colors, but the DMC conversions. Um, and let's see, and then I'll do my whips. I'm so far behind in this. Um, stuff stacked up. <laughs> um, it is the have rules um stitch along, and um, there is a Facebook group for it. Um, I have it right now. PC hashtag or it's the PC have rules. And um, this was a um, stitch along that um, a whole bunch of people were doing that went to the um, Annabelle's retreat and Primrose Cottage Stitches was the guest. So a whole bunch of them got together and decided to do it and then invited everybody else. So um, 
there is a Facebook group you can join and look at all that. Um, the last time I was here, I was behind and I didn't finish the first month. And oh, and I forgot to tell you. Well, basically, what they're going to be. What they're doing, um, each section will be a month. So um, they got that done. So the first month um, was the top section. I was behind. And then here's the second section. Um, I'm still behind. I got the first section done, though. And it's about Primrose Cottage, so just about into that. Oh, I have it in a bag that I got from Dot Dot Goose. Pretty. Um, what I do have done, I have like so I have the first section done, and then I have the B suite. So I need to finish um, the like honey and the, the honey pot. And this is on a twenty five count um, Lugana, and um, I'm working on that. I have quite a few new starts to show you. And not a lot finishes, so like more adding to the whip. <laughs> I like it. Um, let's see. Let me try to get this out a little bit. The first one I have is um, I didn't bring the pattern on here, but it is the May calendar crate from Stitching with the Housewives. And I started this, I was going to originally do the flea market flowers for um, Easter, but this um, Saturday night after Easter, I was tired, did not feel like coming downstairs and um, bobbing up the, um, the, the floss. So I had this one already kitted up and ready to go, so I just went ahead and started it. So I've gotten quite a bit pretty far in it. Um, it is on black 14 count Ada. It is the call for colors um, and the classic color works. Um, it was a kit I got from the Fat Quarter shop. It is on 14 count chalk I think is what it's called. It's in a nerd tube. Oh, and I forgot. I didn't tell you this. This is a needle minder from Mad for Minders, I think it's called. I got it from Etsy. It is a little um, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins is my favorite Disney movie. I saw that and got that. Um, and again, this is um, the May calendar crate from Stitching with the Housewives. And it was a new start. And I started it for, it was my Easter start. Um, the next one I've started is from Stitching with the Housewives. It is Home Where the Wreath is. Thunder is getting in the window. He's bird watching again. I don't have a lot done on this one. Um, I just started, basically got the outline done, and then I can um, fill in. And it is on 14 count Ada. The next one I have is my birthday start. It is um, Hello from Liz Matthews, and I forgot to bring the pattern downstairs. So basically what I do is I copy it at the pattern for a working pattern so I don't mess up my original pattern, and I forgot to grab it. Um, it is um, or no, Quaker Garden Samplers from Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, this is what I have done. Um, got the top half, and I've started on the alphabet. It is on a... 28 count fabric that I got from Mushroom Lugana that I got from 123 Stitch. And I am doing it in um, purple. The pattern originally comes in blue, but I'm doing it in purple and I'm doing classic color work Aunt Marie's Violet. Because purple is my favorite color. And I have another needle minder from uh, Mad for Minders, and it is a Mary Poppins. When she is flying away. Or I guess coming to either one. And it, that says again, that's what I have done. 
I really like how the purple is looking on um, this fabric. Not much done, but I'll get it done eventually. <laughs> Broke gets dry from talking so much. And my last new start. Um, this was what I was originally going to start on Easter and then never did. Um, so this is Flea Market Flowers by Lori Holt. I started this on my anniversary. So I was like, okay, I'll just change it to anniversary. Um, start. So the last two days I've worked on this. Um, it is in a nerd shape, a purple one. And I'll show you what I've got done on that. Basically, what I all I've done is did the outline and um, get that done. And then I'll start on the flowers. I've only worked on it, like I said, two days. Um, I am doing the call for colors. I got the false pack from um, um, Fat Border Shop. And then this fabric is a 25 count. I think it's called um, Potato Lagana or the Colors Potato. They were out of, at Fat Border Shop, they were out of the color that um, was originally called for it. So I was trying to find something that looked pretty light. And I decided. Everybody just doing the like the floss drops. And I thought, well, I know this is not floss drops. This is like one of those cards that I got. And I did it. I am not loving this. I will definitely be going back to the bobbins. This is looks like pure chaos. And it's driving me crazy. One thing I do like, I do like, because I was trying to do it like how the um the classic color works are. I do like that I have gotten everything cut and I'm not having to like, you know, stop and like cut and all my the floss and stuff. But I'm not loving this craziness. <laughs> this is crazy and I'm not liking that. So I will be remaining in the bobbin world. And I'm also like kind of worried to get like tangled up or something. Yeah, hopefully not. Now, let's see, that's all my new starts and slash whips. Um, now I'm going to talk to you about my mania plans. Um, if you don't know what mania is, um, people do different versions of it. But basically from what I've gotten from other people, there used to be a Facebook group for it. And um, a bunch of girls got, or women, or lost a bunch of stitchers. Because there might have been men in there. I might be wrong. I'm sorry. Um, but some cross stitchers got together in this Facebook group and they decided to start a new project. I think for every, I don't know if they did the everyday one or if it, I want to say one place I heard that they started like 15, 2015 or something. But, um, some people do a new start every single day. Some people do a start once a week. Some people do whips. Um, I'm kind of modeling mine after Danielle from, um, um, Love and Stitches and I'll try to like link the um her floss tube that has um the whip mania and what she did she took i think she did seven whips one for every day and then um if she finished one she added one back into it um i'm doing mine a little bit different i'm going to do five for just monday through friday and i'm going to hope to work on it for two hours each um i don't know if that's going to happen every single day um may is kind of busy um we have several out-of-state doctor appointments um, that will be happening. So I know at least two of those, those three days are there that um, we will not be working on. And then kids are out of school a couple of days um, with our normal therapy and teacher visits and stuff. Four days out of five days a week. So um, like I said, my goal is to get two hours. So I'm hoping that um, maybe I can do an hour in the morning, maybe an hour at night after they're in bed. Um, I did pick, like I said, five projects. Um, I'll show this to you. Um, the first one is um, Current Mood. And I got this from... Um, it is... Um, I bought... Um, 
I'm trying to see if it said. I bought one of the Halloween um, magazines from Just Keep Cross Stitching. Um, I don't know the year of it. I'll have to look that up. But um, I bought it online and printed it out. And it is Current Moon by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And I don't have a lot done on it. Um, I started this last October. It is on 14 count by Ada. So I would hope to get a lot further on that one. I haven't totally decided what one's going to be Monday, which one's going to be Tuesday, that kind of thing. Um, the next one, um, I have requested the book from the library. Um, I did find that it is on the Libby app. If your library has um, like books you can download on your phone or your computer or whatever, um, check it out. It's called the Libby app. At least that's what my library uses, and um, you can get books from that. This one is um, Lover's Grape, and this is what I have done on it. So I got quite a bit done on it. I just need to mainly work on the graph. That is what I have to work on in this. It is on 14 count white data. So I would hope to get this done to be able to torture my husband with it. But um, if you don't know the story about it, um, we went to the library and I was looking at this book and um, I showed my husband. He was like, that's creepy. So and I got it. But I, really, I really like it. Like I said, it's called the Lover's Grape. And um, you can't probably see it too well down here, but once you fill it in with the green, it says together forever. And the next one um, is actually, this will be with the the next one that I'll work on after I get done. Um, I don't know which one I'll post which one I have. have the most done on first. And I'll say that one's my first one. And they're about pretty even. Um, so it's Snowed in Snowbirds from Teaching with the Housewives. And the second one that I'll do after I finish that one will be um, Snowed in Winter. These are both 12 by 12 starts, and I did them on the same fabric, so I'll try to finish, I think, this one first, and then I'll move on to that one if I get, get done. Well, hopefully I'll get done. And that is done on 14 count either. More. This one is um, Lizzie Kate, um, the Winter Wishes snippet. This one I'm pretty close to finishing, um, so I'm hoping that when I get done with this one, I'll go on to the spring one. Um, this one and the spring were both 12 by 12 starts. Is done on a 28 count, I think Jobo Moon. Um, I'm not really for sure much about it because I got it from um, a, um, a yard sale. And the last one, yes. um, this is from the, the, I think the very first major project. Well, it was the first major project I started, but um, I started this last fall. And it is from this book I got at the library, um, Nature by Susan Bates. And honestly, it was just, it was a lot. And I got overwhelmed with it. There's lots of color changes. And it is the um, bee hive right here. And I got about, I think about half of it done. Um, Hopefully, I can get some work done on this one. It's really, really pretty. 
And this is on 14 County then. I did not leave myself very much room at the bottom, so hopefully that'll be okay. And I did do the call for colors. Everything is in DMC, um, so I did use the call for colors for that. And so we turned out is really pretty, and um, hopefully finish it. So those are my five media projects, and like I said, um, I plan my time else again. I'm sorry. Hold on, just a second. Let me pause it for just a second. Sorry about that, got the light fixed. Um, so those are my five mania projects. Um, I do plan, like I said, to work on those um, Monday through Friday with, um, I hope to do two hours each on it. And then that way, um, on the weekends, if I wanna start something new or during the week, I can still do that or work on um, my whips and all that stuff I got going on. Um, I still haven't decided if I wanna do a weekly um, follow-up to kind of show you the progress I'm making through, or if I'll still stick with it every two weeks. Um, still thinking about that. Um, when Danielle did her, she took a picture of like what it looked like and um, then showed you your project progress through the week. So I'm still kind of thinking about that, um, when I would be able to totally do a floss tape to be able to um, show you the progress on that. But I do plan to take like a picture of what I'm currently at and then show the progress so um i'll go ahead and show the haul i did have some birthday you know money so some of this is that um oh let me show you too i'll just i'll show you um i guess the first thing um i was looking at this last night i don't know why i bought 18 count i must have thought it was 14 count or didn't pay attention um but this is fiber on a whim my very first fiber on a whim um it is I guess the color Heather, and it's like a purple. Not quite for sure what I'm going to do with the 18 count fabric, but we'll see. Um, and then this purple is um, a Cosmo color, and it is, I don't think, I don't see a name on it. It's just like a purple color. I really like my 14 count. <coughs> then I... I, I dyed this myself. Um, it is um, to go along with the, I did buy the pattern in the floss. Um, it is Honey Bee Garden. I stitched it with the housewives. Um, I got my fabric dyed and I did that. This is um, just a 14 count white that I um, dyed. And um, I used a tutorial that Priscilla and Chelsea used. Um, that's the, how to do that. So, did that. I'm happy with the modeling it's got going on with it. Um, everything like that. So the next couple of patterns I bought. Um, oh, these are the new roundabouts I bought last weekend. It is the Fairy Bless. Um, this one I got from the Fat Quarter Shop. They had it as one of their daily sales. So I got it for like, I think two fifty. Um, it was How Does Your Garden Grow? Can't pass up that price, you know. Um, I got the Plum Street um, Samplers Jesus the Sun or Loves Me the Sun Out. I got the August Non Patch from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Primrose Cottage Stitches Summer Wishes. And um, I got Let's Go Ride a Bike with um, from Stitching with the Housewives. Gotta get all the strawberries. Um, I did buy a couple of fabrics, and I want to show you this. Like, both of these are mushroom Lagana, or calls you mushroom. This is the 25 count, and this is the 28 count. Look at the difference. Colors are very, very different. But um, like I said, they're both supposed to be mushroom Lagana. This one, this one's like the lighter one is 28 count. And um the 25 count is a lot darker. I had bought that when I was trying to figure out um 
what color to go with for the um, Lori Holt, Holt pattern because I was thinking the mushroom was on it was going to be this color, but then it came in that dark. So, um, and then another thing I bought too, um, I, don't know if it was I had seen somebody in one of the cross stitch groups selling a um, fabric for like a three foot by five foot, um, um, different counts of Ada, but I started to look at, and Amazon has it too, and they were actually selling it cheaper than what the person was selling it for. Um, but so I got, I got a black 14 count, a white 14 count, and then I got an 18 count. And the reason why I got the 18 count is for doing all these patterns for, um, Lost my train of thought. For the ornaments, I was thinking this would make them smaller because I think they're, in my opinion, some of the ornaments are pretty big. So I thought maybe the 18 count will make them more smaller. I don't know. Or I know it will make them smaller. But I thought, so I thought I'm going to try to do some of the ornaments on this 18 count. Ada. That would be really nice. And the very last thing, I'm going to talk to you about my Floss 2 recommendations. Um, the first one is the camping stitcher. That is, sorry, my phone. Um, that is Chris. She just celebrated her one year floss tube anniversary. So definitely go ahead over and check out her floss tube. Um, she does really nice finishes. She's so sweet and so kind. Um, I really enjoy watching her. Um, the next one is X Stitch and Chill, and that is Kelsey. Um, she just celebrated 5,000 or 500 subscribers. Um, she did a giveaway, so it got me thinking whenever I hit 500, I definitely think I'll do a giveaway also. Um, the last time I checked, I'm in the low 300s, which is fine. I'm not trying to like, you know, say negative or anything about it because I'm happy with everyone that's here. But, um, when I hit that number, I definitely will do a giveaway also. Just to say thank you for being here and watching me every week. Um, you know, I greatly appreciate that. Um, and then the last one is the 14 count Ada girl, and that is Tina. Um, I have recently just found her. I really enjoy watching her. Um, she has, of course, everything on 14 count. She shows that she's done some stuff on some other ones, but didn't like it. Went back to the 14 count. Um, I know when I first started like cross stitching, I was seeing everybody do like 32 counts to 40 counts, and it's pretty intimidating. Like you don't, I don't know. At least I personally didn't feel like I was good enough to like be a cross stitcher and all that stuff because I was doing the 14 count. But, you know, I'm more comfortable with Ada. So I really enjoyed watching her videos and knowing that, you know, I'm kind of, I'm not alone kind of in that kind of thing. So definitely check her out. Um, she's got really good finishes and everything. And she does like a weekly update of everything she works on. So it's really good to see. Um, I hope that you have a nice couple weeks. Um, thank you for being here. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and stay around. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate being here. And again, I hope you have a nice couple weeks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.